and welcome to the St. Charles Public Library's Story Time here in the Helen Gale Story Room. I'm Miss Amelia, and tonight our theme is flowers. So let's go ahead and get started and sing our hello song. Ready? You say hello, and I'll say hello, and we'll say hello together. You say hello, and I'll say hello in warm or wintry weather. Ready for the second verse? You sing a song, and I'll sing a song, and we'll sing a song together. You sing a song, and I'll sing a song in warm or wintry weather. Good job, you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with our first book. It's called Wildflower by Melanie Brown, illustrated by Sarah Gillingham. Just love this pictures. Daisy had just bloomed and it felt good to open her petals and turn to the sun. What a beautiful place to be, she said. Mm. Mm. My mama says you're just a weed and you don't belong here, said Rose, growing nearby. What's a weed? Daisy asked. Hmm. It's something that wasn't planted on purpose and gets in the way, said Rose. Am I just a weed? Oh, yes, indeed. Daisy felt her head droop a little. Hmm. Why did it matter if she was planted or not? There was plenty of space in this garden. Why are you here? Daisy asked Rose. Oh, isn't it obvious? I smell and look amazing, replied Rose. <laughs> and I'm a chef's best friend, added Sage, uh, poking up. I make things taste yummy. Daisy frowned. But I'm just a weed? Oh, yes, indeed. Daisy's head drooped a little more. Daisy turned up toward Sunflower. What about you? I tower over the garden and my seeds are good to eat. Sunflower threw back his petals. Hmm. Yes, important plants only, Chamomile chimed in. Like me, my flowers make a soothing tea that can help people sleep. Wow, Daisy replied. So, I'm really just a weed? Oh yes, indeed. Daisy drooped completely. Look at how sad she is. Mm. Strawberry Flower smiled at Daisy. Well, I'm sure weeds are good for something. Thank you, said Daisy. Why are you here? She added. I feed people, Strawberry Flower explained humbly. I make fruit that's sweet and juicy. But I'm just a weed? Strawberry Flower agreed. Daisy sighed. Mm -hmm. Then she smelled something wonderful. <gasps> oh my, it was sweet pea, Daisy said. Mm. I can guess why you were planted. You smell lovely like Rose. Oh, I wasn't planted, said Sweet Pea. I just blew in on the wind like you. I get called a weed sometimes too. Really? Some call you a weed? Oh, yes, indeed. Daisy stretched up just a little bit. Another plant was snaking over or sneaking over the fence. 
What's your name? asked Daisy. Who? Me? I'm Blackberry Vine, and I'm often called a weed, especially when I creep into gardens. But I make delicious berries. What about me? asked Clover. My roots carefully gather food to help other plants grow, but most still call me a weed. Hmm. Me too, said Dandelion. Children love to wish upon me, and my seeds fly through the air. You and I, we're wildflowers, and that means we can grow wherever the wind takes us. Really? asked Daisy. Oh, yes, indeed. Daisy stretched up even more. Look at how tall she's getting. Then Daisy heard Rose say, oh, There's a weed in my sunshine. Rose was glaring up at a tall new flower that Daisy had never seen before. A weed? said the new flower meekly. Oh, there's more than enough sunshine for everyone, Rose, Daisy said. Every plant I met today is special and belongs here, no matter what we call them. That's a good point, Daisy. It's a butterfly weed. It's called milkweed. Hello, I'm Daisy and I'm a wildflower. Welcome to our garden. It's a beautiful place to be. Oh, they're shaking leaves. And look at their beautiful garden. The end. Boop. I love that book. I would like to share with you guys how to say flower in American Sign Language. So you take your hand and you kind of cup it like this, it's, it said a squished O. So you put all your fingers on your thumb and you go from one cheek to the other. You go boop, boop, that means flower. And they said you could go left to right or right to left. It means the same thing, no matter which way you do it. So flower, put your hands together like this and you touch your cheek, flower. Good job, you guys. All right. It's time for our last book. This one's called My Garden by Kevin Hankus. Oh, they had some pretty pictures in this book. I just like his artwork. My mother has a garden. I'm her helper. I water, I weed, and I chase away the rabbits so that they don't eat all the lettuce. It's hard work, and my mother's garden is very nice. But if I had a garden, mm, there would be no weeds, and the flowers would keep blooming and blooming and never die. <gasps> what a pretty garden. Look at all those flowers. In my garden, the flowers could change color just by my thinking about it. Pink, blue, green, purple, even patterns. That would be amazing. And if you picked a flower, another one would grow right back in its place. She walks through and picks the flowers and they're growing right behind her. In my garden, the rabbits wouldn't eat the lettuce because the rabbits would be chocolate and I would eat them. <gasps> Yum! Can you imagine chocolate rabbits just running around everywhere? Sounds delicious. Look at her cool tree. If I planted seashells, 
then I'd grow seashells. Whoa, what a fun garden. If I planted jelly beans, I'd grow a great big jelly bean bush. Look at, she's gathering the jelly beans. Would you guys want a jelly bean bush? I definitely would. Sometimes in my garden, good, unusual things would just pop up. Buttons, umbrellas, rusty old keys. That sounds fun. In my garden, there would be birds and butterflies by the hundreds so that the air was humming with wings. Look at all these butterflies and birds, you guys. So pretty. The tomatoes would be as big as beach balls and the carrots would be invisible because I don't like carrots. But I like tomatoes. I want a giant tomato. Biggest ever. At night, the morning glories would stay open, shining like stars. And the strawberries would glow like lanterns. It's night now. Only the fireflies and the porch light are glowing. Before bed, I take one seashell from the shelf in my room and I go to the garden. I poke the seashell into the ground. Who knows what might happen? I cover it up with dirt and pat down the dirt with my foot. What are you doing? Asks my mother. Oh, nothing, I say. Just working in the garden. And look what's happening. Her seashell is growing roots. The end. Oh, planting one last thing before going to bed. I love working in the garden. But it's time to say good night. Would you guys like to sing the goodbye song with me? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Everyone give yourself a big hug. Night-night. Mm -hmm. Sweet dreams. We'll see you next time.